So I constructed this kind of crudely just for this kind of proof of concept. And all it is is the line level laser from that Black & Decker line level. A switch that I had on hand and also a battery connector. And I've been using these, I save these old batteries. These are old nine volts. And I measure them on my multimeter and sometimes they're not quite nine volts and I'll keep them anyway because I can use them for cheesy little projects like this. This one measured at 7.9 volts. And I usually keep these nine volts, even if they go down as low as about seven volts. And anything lower than that, I just throw them away, but they're still good. And it's driving this laser just fine. And I hot glued. I was really happy because I was able to use my hot glue gun. Uh, it's always fun to use that. I uh, just hot glued this all together. And the best place I found for this to work is just right there at the side, so that when I turn this on, it kind of spreads the laser across three strings even. You can see the three kind of red dots there, right? On the E, the A, and the D. Any, at this angle sitting here, it doesn't quite get the other strings. You'd have to lift this to really get that line level to give you red dots on all the strings. And that's tough. That would require some kind of contraption that I'm not really willing to make for this proof of concept. And then this is the photovoltaic pickup that I made with that garden light. And I've had those garden lights for almost a decade just sitting out there and they stopped working, but you know, you just leave them out there and kind of forget about them. So I'd been seeing it in my peripheral vision every time I walked to the workshop and kind of got the idea for this. I hot glued the leads that are going in there because once you solder the jackets heavy and one of the leads came out, so I had to re-solder it and then hot glued that. This guy is quite small, so he covers about three strings. And there's nothing special about this. Two leads coming out of that photovoltaic cell and going straight into a mono jack. Now, obviously, the problem with this is that this photovoltaic cell, when you hit it with photons, is creating electrons or loosening electrons, right? And so you're getting DC current going into your audio signal and you don't want that, so it produces a lot of hum. But even with that hum, it works really well, and it produces some really great capturing of the strings, and I can live with the hum. What you want to do is use a coupling capacitor. So for this little guy, I tried 2.2 microfarad, and it was doing a perfect job of reducing all the hum. It was whisper quiet. Problem is, it's also acting as like a low pass filter. So it was really uh, attenuating all the high signals and also reducing the gain or the output, you could call it. So I switched to a 0.47 microfarad coupling capacitor and that did the job. Um, it didn't act as a low pass filter so much. It didn't attenuate the highs and it kept my output the same, but there was still a little bit of hum. So obviously, Something like this would require a circuit. I, I could build it. I could totally build it. I'm not going to build it for this proof of concept, but it would be super easy to breadboard it. So then I, I thought, well, let's see what something like this does, right? So something like this I bought on Amazon, and this covers all the strings, right? So this is an array of solar cells, or six solar cells. So much larger, covers all the string, super flat, super cool. The issue with this is that I guess it's producing way more voltage, more DCs going into this mono jack. So the 0.47 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, as I was using as a coupling capacitor, was not doing the job. I then moved over to the 2.2 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, and that was fine for this. I think it could go a little bit higher, but again, acting sort of like a, a filter and really attenuating some of the highs and the output, so. Proof of concept, yes, this works. Um, it would require a circuit to get it to be perfect. And I just wanna make sure that you can see that there's no audio jack in this guitar. And the volume's all the way down, so there's nothing coming out of this jack here. Every sound will be coming from the voltages that are created by the photovoltaic cell here. Jack here, and it just goes into 
my uh, computer so that we can record it. I want you to hear how hummy it is and how much static there is. And that's because this photo of Excel is producing DC and that DC is going into the actual um, audio jack. So let's listen to what this sounds like. So that's what it sounds like right there. So what I noticed with the laser is this uh, laser works best when it is right on top of the string, right? So you'd think you want to do this, right? And that's not going to produce anything. So you want the laser to hit the string so that the vibrations of that light are what's causing the voltage changes, right? So I found the best angle is like something like this where I can get three strings in there. So you can see the tops of those strings will produce sound now. And I've gotten the best results from just raw because it's so like there's so much voltage and it's really driving you know the amp and it's capturing really well and everything's captured i can do harmonics i can do bends and it's all it all works really well the other thing that i was testing was just a simple this is a little laser pointer like for cats you know so it drives cats crazy you know, one of these kind of little red dots this works really well too so let's test this out So all those weird little crackling sounds have to do with uh, the movement of my hand shaking. So you know it's really hard to keep a laser dot steady, right? And so it's all my micro movements that are causing all that extraneous noise. But there wouldn't be any noise if it was just sitting there, right? So I was able to put this guy here. Here's the other thing I found. So, you know, you have the light here, right? And you'd think that that could produce some sound, but it doesn't really do much. This guy has a blue light, like a blue LED. This works. LEDs work. So this little guy has both a blue and a white LED, and those seem to work. And this dot works really well, but it doesn't really go across the strings as well as the line level laser. So now let's go ahead and test larger cell here. All right, I have the larger cell here and it's got an array of, I think there's six solar cells. So it's much bigger. So therefore I switched from the 0.47 microfarad coupling capacitor to a 2.2 microfarad capacitor, and that seems to have reduced some of the noise. G-string, the unwound G-string. B-string, unwound B-string. And then the E, high E. Look at the dynamics. So you could easily design a pickup around here. The hard part is mounting something like that somewhere. I mean, I just had it lying like this and it was I was able to get a good three string spread. So one, two, three, and it starts to trail off at the G string, right? It needs to be angled just right to get it on top of every string. Another thing too is to maybe mount single lasers under going up. Uh, there's a lot of options I think for playing around with something like this, but that's it. I mean, there's nothing to these things and you could build these things all day long. That's it, laser pickup.
Thanks for watching and take it easy.